Hello Pisces and welcome to your mid-March to mid-April 2023 uh, monthly reading. Pisces, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements, your moon rising, your Venus. If you're heavy in Leo, heavy in Scorpio, whatever, check those out. If you are seeking more clarity or guidance or more information in those um for you if, if you're not getting it if this doesn't connect with you because it's not a one-on-one -on -one reading it is a general so take what resonates leave the rest pisces welcome to my channel my name is rudy i appreciate you all being here if you're returning welcome back and thank you again for your time and energy i also want to take a quick moment to thank all the new subscribers this is a little channel and to watch it grow it just it just makes me so happy and i could not do it without you all so thank you so very much for your trust and your um support that you give me all right, we're going to start out with the three cards in the middle. We have Queen, Queen of Wands, the Temperance card, and we have the Eight of Wands. So, talking about um, what you are, what you are doing, what you are creating, what you are wanting to uh, move forward with. Um, temperance is creation. Temperance is, you know, moderation, but it's also what you're creating what you're molding, what you're doing. Um, Queen of Wands is having fun at what you do, but but doing it, right? You're doing it. You're bringing it. And it is also bringing in um, this energetic energy of, again, creation. I just feel creation, creation, creation is what I keep hearing. You could be an artist. You could be a, a writer. You, it's it's this this floodgate opening up, and I, I feel like with the Temperance card, it's like pace yourself, pace yourself, pace yourself. Um, just you know, just pace yourself, and great things are coming. Things are moving really quickly, so it's really up to you because the Temperance card's in the middle. It's really up to you. I'm surprised the chariot. Oh, look, look at the chariot. Chariot is subconscious energy. It's on the bottom of the deck. You're in, you, you've got the range. You're in control of this. So you're going to have to control this influx. This could be an Etsy shop you're starting. This could be a, um, some type of creative endeavor. You're writing a book. Your book's released. You're, you're whatever this is, you know. But be careful because everything's in moderation. So you're in control of it. You are the one that is, um, you know, holding the reins, so to speak. Because things are going to be moving fast. It's like once something's released, once something's put out there, once, once you hit that button... Oof, it's going to blow up. So be careful and be ready and know that you are setting the pace and know that you're in control of it is what I feel. You're going to have to let me know what that means to you because I just feel that, and I almost feel like it's, um, it's maybe a side hustle for now. And I think that can, uh, all change really quick. I forgot to draw a room. Sorry about the noise. Oh my God, let's see. Uh, I love, oh, this one fell right out. Hmm. One of my favorites, I think. Hoggies. Protection. Um, I love how this is like a bullseye, like targets. It's like you're right on target with it. You're right on target. You're hitting the mark every time. You're hitting the mark every time. So whatever this is that you're releasing, whatever this is that you're putting out, whatever this is that you could even be contemplating, it might not even be out yet, know that it's going to be big and know that it's going to be well received. And I feel with the temperance card in the middle and the chariot card with, you know, you have fast movement, but you're in control of it is absolutely saying that you're in control of it. So have all that in place before you hit the send button, before you hit the um, share button or whatever it is that you're going to be doing. All right. Your health is the seven of cups. There can be some confusion in your health. Um, you might be getting different answers from different doctors or different people or um uh, there could be some confusion, but there also is decisions. You know, you could have decisions that you're you're thinking about uh, with your health. I feel with the cups, uh, it's an emotional time for you. So this could be where you, somebody you love or somebody in the family could have suffered some type of malady, some type of sickness, some type of disease. 
And maybe you're precautionary going through a barrage of tests. Maybe precautionary you're going through things to make sure that maybe you don't carry it or you don't have it or um, getting your health up to par, getting your health up to snuff, so to speak. And um, it can be really confusing for you, especially if you're young and especially if you've not been in the system and you don't, you know, you feel like you're navigating your way through the system is what I feel. But you are taking control of it or you are, you are doing something about your health. Your money is the four of swords. I feel like you could have had an investment um, of some sort. You could have like put your money into something and you're waiting for it to grow. Uh, it's it's kind of, I always see that the four swords is like a prayer card. You want to, you're wanting to bring in um, balance and sustenance, you know, to sustain. Um, but you are... It's like you've done all you can right now. Now you have to wait. You know, you've made the connections. You've done what you're supposed to do. Now you just have to wait. And that is what I feel with the Four of Swords. It's like, uh, you know, go get your mind off of it. You could have invested in something, waiting to hear about an investment. You could have maybe put in for a raise even at work, and you're waiting to hear about that. Um, or cost of living raise or something like that. But it's a card of structure and stability, and that's what you're trying to bring into your money. Um, maybe more so, maybe you're into investing, maybe you're into like 401ks and figuring all that out and seeing what the best route is of money marketing, but whatever it is, is you dabbled a little bit. Now you're kind of waiting to see what grows or what happens with whatever it is you put in your uh, work is King of Wands. This shows me that, um, again, you're very creative in your work, uh, Pisces, which I'm not surprised you're Pisces even though this is a fire sign and you have a lot of fire signs, which is, you know, a uh, card of high energy and a card of um, desire and passion and, and getting things done. But I feel with this card that you are, uh, you know, maybe being seen at work, maybe being um, given a raise, maybe being promoted um, somebody catching someone's eye that could be in management, catching someone's eye that could be, um, you know, somebody looking for something specific that you do. Maybe somebody contacted you on that front. And then we have Page of Swords for love. If you are in love, Page of Swords is taking action on a situation. I feel like it's communication, open communication, um, making sure things don't get to a stagnant point or stagnant uh, place. Um, you know, there's some feathers coming off here. So it's not an easy process. It's not say, hey, we need to sit down and have a talk. Are you okay? Truthfully, are you okay? What can we do differently? What can we do together? Let's talk like adults. Um, and keeping that communication open. Um, maybe just starting it. Maybe feeling a stagnation in the relationship and wanting to keep uh, the channels open is what I feel with the Page of Swords. If you're not in a relationship, looking for truth and honesty and fairness. Um you know, trust. I think trust is a really big issue and looking for that, bringing it, but you're also looking for it and you're not settling for anything less is what I feel. Um, you could be talking to somebody. If, you, if you're single, you could be communicating with somebody uh, that is new, that you haven't talked to before, that you're communicating with now. And that person maybe doesn't live right in your vicinity, even. There could be some travel involved, if and when the time comes. Uh, but the rune you have is Algae's... Oh, it's a rune of protection. And... Uh, good influences, instincts, friendship, strength, luck, and... Luck and life forces. Strength in luck and life forces. Which pretty much sums up that whole first row that we read. Really, your whole reading. Alright, what is your challenge? What is the challenge? Distorted view. Perspective. And it's 
you know, you're Pisces. So I always call you my, my believers in unicorns and fairies, which I believe in them too. So there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to know what's reality and what's not. And I'm not saying that you don't know what's reality, but, but if you have Pisces, if you, if you're Pisces or have heavy Pisces in your chart, we can get lost in that, um, fantasy. That's a whole lot easier to be in than reality. A change in perspective is needed to view you or a situation with compassion. The root core of pain is often associated with how you may view yourself or the situation from a wounded place. Choosing to heal this brings the broken pieces back together to create a healthy point of view. It could be what you're doing in the Page of Swords if you're in a relationship. I feel it could be what you're doing with the Queen of Wands also. How you're choosing to view yourself. How you're choosing to handle the situation. Again, Chariot's a card of Cancer and it's a card of movement. You have the Laurel Leaf here, which is a sign of victory. Moving forward. Going, rising above the storm. You know, mo moving things in the direction that you want it to go in. And knowing you have the reins. Knowing you're in control. That's what I said with the temperance and things moving quickly. Know that you have that control. And not everyone's going to be happy for you. Not everyone's going to see things the way you see. So a distorted view and change of perspective might come in handy. What is your opportunity coming in, Pisces? What is your opportunity, Pisces? Oh, this is not, that's not an opportunity. It's not personal. <laughs> no, let's try. Sorry about that. That was another challenge. Whoops. All right. Nature therapy, grounded. Your soul loves to connect to be one with nature. A beautiful healing takes place when you ground and center yourself with the earth. Being in nature has a way to restore what has been lost and brings you back to your center. Beautiful card. Um, I always tell clients to watch nature. You know, if we're in winter and the trees are bare and, and everything's sleeping, it's, it's not time for us to go you know be planning the garden and going to doing everything um take notes from nature and know when's when you know there's a time for every season i guess is what i'm trying to say even if you don't have seasons where you live there's still a time for it and follow nature look at the trees look at what's going on around you to know where you're supposed to be or how you're supposed to be um acting and also to Reconnect, you know, to maybe walk barefoot outside, lay down in the grass, lay down on the earth, um, Mother Earth, and let her heal. Heron, patience. Temperance card was patience, remember? Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. It's beautiful because it goes even the colors and these are two total different decks but look at the colors in nature therapy in this look at that how beautiful so it's really really emphasizing the need to get in nature the need to ground yourself the need to feel the earth beneath you and you know take deep breaths be grateful for little things in life big things are coming quicker than you can imagine you know, again, it could be art, it could be writing, it could be something that you're putting out there that's going to just really take off. So know that before, again, you hit send or push or whatever people do these days. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, Pisces, I thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful month. And let me know how it resonates with you. You can leave me a comment. You can just give me a thumbs up if you don't want to say anything. If you have any questions, I'm, I'm open. So let me know and I will answer anything. Um, take care of yourselves and each other. Be safe. And I cannot get that to focus. I don't know what it's focused on. Um, there we go. There we go. Um, no, I put readings out the first of the month for uh, love. For those of you that are in love. For the Pisces in love and for the Pisces seeking love. So if you're interested in those, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you won't miss any of my uploads. I thank you so much for watching and 
have a beautiful, wonderful month. It's really, uh, you have this, 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 this melding of going, you know, going with the flow is what I feel. Love it. Take care of yourself and each other. Pisces, stay safe, be blessed. Bye for now. Thank you again.